What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you and this time we are at the Siege of Carthage and we have Carthage attacking its own city instead of defending it for once and it has an unlikely ally of Rome. Um, they are against, as you can see here, they've just appeared, Egypt and Nabatea and uh, yeah this is sent in by the Rome player uh, Gandalf um, so thank you very much for the replay. Um, it is a excellent, excellent battle. Um, so we'll quickly go over some of the army comps as the armies move in. I'm sure I'll put a time up for when the action begins if you want to skip straight ahead to that. So um, we have, anyway, we have the first wave of infantry going in is some mercenary noble fighters um, and mercenary Italian swords from Carthage. Uh, I think that is mainly, and some mercenary scutiari here. Um, and some Samanite warriors. I do... Carthage is such a variety of like mercenary warriors. I I can't just put them all into just like one category. Just mercenaries. That's that's just all they have going in. Uh, we also have some African pikes at the back here. They will be handy for choke points when necessary. Um, and we have four uh, units worth well, missiles made up of Cretan and Balearic slingers, or Cretan archers. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, and he has some cavalry actually over here as well. Um, mainly a Scutari cavalry and this general just being a general's bodyguard. Um, Rome, quickly before he arrives at the walls, has um, legionnaires, obviously Hastati, um, and he has more legionnaires actually. He has a, he's bringing a quite a cheap army of legionnaires to be honest. Um, he's also got an uh, Evercarty cohort, a solid unit to bring, and he's got a lot of missile here. Uh, mainly auxiliary Syrian archers. Uh, the rules were one artillery, um, four uh, missile, and two pikes. So obviously Rome has no pikes, but he has brought the missile, uh, the artillery. I apologise. Um, so he's not seeming to be knocking down any walls anytime soon, though, which is, seems to be strange. I mean, he's obviously got his, he's got a bit of cavalry himself with some equites and his general bodyguard. So well, Egypt and Nabatea can't see their armies at the moment, but. Um, we will see them as they appear. I mean, we can see some Egyptian infantry and some Thorax swords and some Thoros spears for Egypt and some Nabataean axe warriors and some desert levy at the moment for uh, Nabatea. So as the way, uh, anyway, we will see uh, the armies as they as they land. I mean, Rome's getting pretty beaten up. These Hastati could die on this tower. Um, we'll see see what happens here. I mean, it's but it's pretty. Burning quite a lot. If I was one of these guys down here now, I'd be like, please just get me out, get me out. I wanna I want to uh I wanna survive. I mean also, I mean it seems a bit strange. Rome's got no RAM coming up at all. Uh, he's got um I can never remember what these are these these tortoises, aren't they? I can I never remember their name because they are always so buggy, so I never bring them uh, to see just myself. But I mean he's got anyway. Back to my main criticism of Nabatea here. Um, why have he's why has he got infantry here? He's got two units that are being held up here for no reason. There's no ram. You might as well get these guys on the wall. Fight for the walls. Um, or the choke points. I mean, he's gonna. He's looks like he's gonna overwhelm like the walls and bring choke points on, which is a good move. Uh, here we go. Hestati landing on the walls. Excellent. And um, while that's happening, what's happening over here? Okay, so Carthage has actually brought got a uh, a choke point going. He's he's made a breach. There we go. Um, but it's already defending straight up with some thorax swords, a solid unit going in. And the first men that look like they're going to be going through the breach are Samanite warriors. Uh, they're already taking quite a bit of fire from these uh, arch towers, which are a accurate as hell. I mean, it's like they've got snipers in there. They just kill instantly. I mean, they don't seem to be getting any more at the moment. There we go. There's another one. Another easy kill. And that's angered them, and they're off in. Here we go. The first men into the breach. Some Possibly some of the first men into combat. Um, here we go. Over the top they go. And in they go with a nice javelin charge from the height. And then the thorax uh, swords repeat, repeat with their own. Or a, There we go. Oh, that is, that is... Oh, that was a good volley there. Into the rear. Possibly not my target I would have gone for, but um, I would have focused on these guys. Another nice little breach being opened up here by the tortoise. I mean, I don't think you're going to get many men through that breach, though. That's the only problem. 
how's Rome doing then? So we're also, the Carthage has now got men on the walls. Ah, oh, Rome, Rome is fighting. It's got its start over here, fighting the uh, fighting the desert levy. I mean, Rome needs to be careful because yeah, he's just killed his own men doing that. Needs to be careful. And there's a few, only a few. There's a few stragglers, but I mean, he's now cut off his troops from uh, from really doing much. He probably want, didn't want to have to do that. I mean, he could come down over here. That's probably what I'd do. But, I mean, this unit's kind of cut off on its own now. But it does take up a whole unit of uh, desert hoplites. Which, I mean, these guys look awesome. Armored desert hoplites. They look excellent. So, I mean... I can see what Nabatea is doing. He's not putting any archers on the wall. He, doesn't, he thinks his archers are going to get caught, caught out there. So, he's just using his archers back here. And he gets some nice, good angles. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is that is a pretty good angle. I will agree. You can you can get all the way. I mean, can they get all? Surely they can fire up there. These guys, again, are also course. I don't see Nabatea often in, on the channel. But uh, nice to see him represented this time. Um, I mean, the Desert Levy are look, probably getting overwhelmed, aren't they? Yeah, losing to Sidesplay. Even to Hastati, they're probably not going to stand a chance. These poor guys. Look at them. I mean, they're not much more armor than the Hastati. Oh gosh, I hate this. I hate the camera. There we go. We'll go with that. Excellent. Oh. As soon as I move my mouse, instantly, we lose it. But I mean, there we go. I mean, these are, these desert levy definitely getting uh, definitely getting destroyed. I mean, the legionnaires in the rear are probably not helping either. I mean, yeah, these poor guys, these poor buggers. I mean, I have a feeling that Rome is probably going to use every javelin it has in its uh, armory before going down off these walls. Probably should have brought um, some sort of ram. Or rushed through these choke points a lot quicker. Because look at Nabatea has instantly... Uh, Gandalf, unfortunately, has uh, been pretty slow mobilizing through these choke points. And it's allowed Nabatea to just set up quite nicely. I know this this is not so neat, neat but it can be sorted out. <coughs> <coughs> and I do apologize for my coughing. Uh, I am still dying of the plague at the moment. Um, but, I mean, Carthage here, we can see, is going through and is, uh, I mean, is, I'd say making nice, easy work of Egypt, but that's not the case. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a, that's quite a cool angle. I kind of like that. You can just see as they're like, we're like some soldier looking down at what's to come for us. And then we go more reinforcements. Italian swords coming in. I do apologise. That's a, that's after a while. That's getting a a little bit annoying to watch from. But I mean, here we go. That's a nice angle. And so hopefully Carthage can break through. <coughs> oh dear! Oh my gosh! Here we go. Now Matea has got some huge, huge plays here. I mean, he's got his cavalry in behind. He really right. Carthage really needs to kill Nabatea's general. Yeah, isolate him and kill him. Also, he does seem to have only attacked Carthage's uh, infantry, which, yes, is annoying for Carthage, but it's not his archers, and that is the uh, they're the weakest units, obviously. Any Rome 2 player knows that. But, I mean, these guys um, can hopefully deal with the cavalry problem and then uh, move on. I mean, the general... I wouldn't bother committing your general as Carthage at the risk of losing him. You've got this sorted out with your infantry and your own cavalry. And hopefully, I mean, heavy melee cavalry versus medium melee cavalry should, even with two to one, should overwhelm um, the Nabataeans. Yes, they are. And there we go. Do not let Carthage, do not let this get this guy get away. Do not let him. Look at him. He's running for the gate. He sees it. He's like, we can get there, man. Safety is soon. Ours. But no. Oh, yep. Yeah. Luckily, he's... He's caught him. I don't know whether his general's dead. Yeah, general is still nearby. He's still alive. But I mean, these. I mean, it's a good move. But I mean, he didn't get any of the archers, which is what the he needed to really get. I mean, look at this. Rome is just in for a hard time. It's not going to be a a fun one. I mean, they're just getting shot gradually anyway. There's, you might as well put these men and just tuck them around here. I mean, look at this. As soon as they go in, they're going to get flanked from two angles from these uh, Nabataean swords. I mean, they just look excellent as well. I mean, I'm just going to check out all these guys. Yeah, they, they look awesome. How is 
Did Nabatea's general get away? Yes, he did. He did get away, and he's still alive. 48 out of 80. That's not too bad. But, I mean, I don't think it was worth it. Looking at the death. Well, let's look at what's left on the battlefield. Not much. Not much that's uh, looking like Carthage dead. Looking like a lot of horses dead. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. But I mean, it looks like Egypt's now pushed out um, Carthage, which is actually kind of amazing. I mean, well, it's not really. I mean, but I mean, they probably want to pull back after a while. At this point, I, if I was Egypt, I would possibly commit this uh, thorax swords. Actually, no, I'd keep the thorax sword uh, spears in there, bring back the thorax swords, um, and reposition them ready because, like, right now they're now um, able to be shot at by the Carthaginian skirmishers. But I mean, and, and they're just going to lose a lot more men. They're going to take a lot more casualties doing this. I mean, in fairness, they're probably going to break this Italian swords unit because Italian swords are pretty crappy. Also, Carthage is already committing uh, Cretan archers, it looks like, to the battle. So, I mean, they're already out of ammo, or they've... Um, actually, sure, surely not. Surely these guys were not out of ammo already. They've just, like, got a bit too close. But, I mean, Histati over here breaking, fighting against the Nabataean Axe Warriors. Rome has also gone for the uh, gone through one of the breaches here. I mean, but look at this. He's having no luck. He's been pushed back already. These poor legionnaires getting um, stomped on, really, by uh, Nabatea. I mean, this is excellent. Excellent uh, showing by Nabatea. I mean, he's really contained Rome. He's got everyone in position in perfect time. And we have pikes now. These, well, these desert pikemen. Of course, I should have guessed. Either Nabataean, Nabataean Pikeman or Desert Pikeman. Um, but, I mean, these guys, they are ready. They're going to just pokey-poke, pokey-poke, and they'll kill Rome's uh, legionnaires off very nicely. I mean, also, look at those axes. This guy here with his axe. That is some ornate axe work you've got going on there. I, I give that, I rate that axe an 8 out of 10. Don't know why I'm rating axes now, but um, that's what you get now on the on Pope's channel. You get axe ratings. Um, but I mean, it looks like Rome. I, w I was looking like Rome had broken through here, and he sort of has over here with the Evocardi cohort. He's almost forced his way through, and he's surrounded the um, the royal peltaster. Uh, Egypt's general's kind of in a bit of trouble here. These armored desert hoplites are also in a bit of trouble. They're losing decisively. They're very much out of position. Rome really needs to. Gets some archers on this wall. He's already run out of infantry. He's running very low in infantry, in fact. Um, he's already got... <laughs> Rome's going for the cap. I don't know. Where is the capture point? It will be over here. Um, if I'm right, Carthage's capture point somewhere over here. So, I mean... Oh, no, it's here. It's down here, of course. It's down here. So, possibly the Equites already going for the capture. I won't be surprised. Or... If I was them and go for a better play, I'd go for all these archers in the rear here. And then possibly, if you can sneak past this desert pikeman here, you could get all of these ones as well. You cause a lot of problems in the rear. And that could possibly swing it back in your favour. I mean, it looks ever so slightly, I'd say the balance of power is in the, in the favour of the defenders. Um, but we'll see. I mean, Egypt and Nabatea are doing a very good job of containing all of these Romans. I mean, look at the amount of death. Like, so many Romans dying here. Oh, that was a good shot. Did that, that surely hit? Yes. Did just miss that. Will there be a second one? Will they get a second shot off down here? I mean, look at these guys. Just throwing missiles in. Left, right, and center. Like, they don't even care. They could hit anyone. Their general's right here. They're just like, yeah, we, we could possibly hit them. But, I mean, Rome over there. Oh. No, it's just going to fall short as that fireball. Um, but, I mean, look at them. These Evercati legionaries really need to get a move on. They need to get out of this fire line of fire. Because they're just getting shot on the side here. It's, it's it's horrible to see. It's, I mean, they're also getting flanked in the back now. And these Nabataean Axe Warriors, even though they're losing, they're actually now containing Rome. They're forcing them. This is probably why they haven't moved. They're forcing them to stay here. Um, but, I mean, yeah, Rome is basically almost out of this game. I mean, he's really running out of troops. Um, and it looks like Carthage... Carthage just needs to help out Rome a lot. Yeah, he needs to send him troops. I mean... This is the problem I was saying. I don't even know why Nabatea didn't like just charge in the rear here and flank these guys. But I mean, they needed to coordinate a little bit better, possibly come a little bit closer. Like this 
this area here would have been quite key to link up Carthage and Rome. And then you could kind of, it's not like a very key, key area, but then you could take both of these gates. Actually, no, that's not even a gate. I just assume that's a gate because it's got a huge hole in the wall. Um, but, I mean, you could link up this gate here and this breach here and this whole area you could take under control and then you could move from there systematically. Um, I, I know that players, I mean, I, I'm more of a land battle, like a pitch battle player myself than a siege battle uh, player, but um, when people want to take huge fronts on, like, um, on maps and just, like, I don't know. Try and try and uh, take as much land, uh, much ground as possible initially um, as an attacker. It's not possible the best move. You want to get a concentrated attack and then flood in from there. I know that's like obviously sometimes it's easy to defend, but if you pull it off well, it can be devastating, and you can take a few less casualties because you're not just committing all your forces at once. You need to have reserves, um, so you can like then commit and find gaps. Like oh, right now, like Rome could send troops in here, flanking behind all these guys. If he had reserves, he could kill all these pikemen off and possibly then get these Sorak swords and then he could go straight through here and help uh, Mo well help Carthage out but it's not gonna be the case because they've both run out of infantry quite quickly I mean but there's still time there's still there's still time for a miracle the balance of powers kind of shifted back in favor of the attackers Carth Carthage has mobilized his pikemen and he's doing a bit of damage he's making you making some headway here but they're also quite out of position now after making the push. And here we go. Is this the this is Carthage's general here? Oh no, this is not. This is Mercenary Scutiari. I apologise. Um, but I mean, they really need to go into the rear here and kill these Sorak swords because I mean, then they could help mobilize uh, mobilize his mercenary noble fighters. Here we go. Yep, just as I say it, they go and do it. Charge in the rear, men. Get some kills. Our Spanish warriors will save our other well, our other Spanish warriors actually. Um, they need, they, all about the international armies of Carthage. I mean, yeah, and they've broken that Thorax sword unit, just like that. And now Thorax spears, and now they've gone back and they're just pinballing, look at that, pinballing, and then they're going breaking this other Thorax swords. They really need to get, well, this mercenary Italian sword unit, you might as well just throw it in at this point. Throw it in, get the, and you might as well do the same with this mercenary Scutari cav. Get all your archers in as well. Um, maybe onto walls, it's really just depend. I mean, look at this. Rome is having to commit equites already. I mean, he's got a good target here in fairness. There's a lot of archers here. But, um, it's it's a bit of a defiant attempt, really, at trying to reclaim victory. I mean, they've, he's opened the gates. That's kind of handy. I mean, could have done with doing that about five minutes, five, ten minutes ago. But, um, oh, the pike's just trying to regain it, killing all these cavalry off. I mean, they're too, the pikemen for uh, Egypt look fresh. I mean, they've barely been used. Nabatea is the only one that's really used any pikes at this point. Um, but, I mean, there's, it's really come down to a few choke points and some well-positioned areas from uh, from the defenders. And, I mean, they're going to... They've surrounded these noble fighters off and they've nullified their, like, how good they are. Like, so easy to just by, as soon, I mean, that's the case with any... Any unit, though, just surround it. It will eventually break, however elite it is. That was, but I mean, it's a it's a good learning curve for anyone wanting to do siege battles. Is this got to coordinate and also uh, and just take you take it slow. Like, for instance, when Carthage like just balled in here straight away at the beginning. Um, against the Sorak swords, he could have just brought up archers, and he should have just shot. If he was happy to, if the Egyptians were happy to stand in that uh, choke point, just bring archers up and just shoot them. Like that's the best best thing for archers to do. You don't want ar archers. Yeah, you can take down archers. That's fine. Save some ammo to do that, but kill kill infantry with uh, archers. That's what a waste of infantry if uh, you're going to shoot it with archers. Oh, if it's going to die to archers, sorry. Um, that's not what their, their purpose is. But, I mean, look at this. Carthage now just having, like just causing havoc in the rear. Which is what I was saying that they should do with possibly with their cavalry after they kind of nullified the Nabataeans. Egypt clearly didn't bring any cavalry. Um, but, I mean, after they kind of destroyed most of the Nabataean cavalry, they should have just sent their cavalry in the rear like they did with the Equites for Rome. And then just start harassing archers. Just stop, If they're going to stop them from firing on their infantry. But, I mean, they're getting quite... 
they're getting well dealt with now by pikes and I mean an overwhelming amount of archers to be fair these even all these archers here are actually doing enough damage to uh to kill quite a few of these cavalry but I mean uh yeah there we go they're, they've broken poor poor souls I mean Carthage is making a bit of headway now actually he's got it's just like I said just a little late he's so many resources have been used now these Thoros I swear the noble swords over here were surrounded first and now out of nowhere they've surrounded what was left of Car uh, Egypt's defenses that's that's well done by them I mean they're all now now if I was Carthage they're gonna set up pikes here you go don't now send in anything just put set up archers and shoot them down if they don't that's what they should do and he looks like he's gonna do that perfect right so here we go this is what he needs to do if he wants to give himself a chance in this battle just shoot these guys and look they're gonna stand there they're gonna get shot and because they're pikemen and they can't defend themselves and they're getting hit by slingers and yep they're gonna just die already they've taken three losses it's not many but it's an, it'll start that will they'll become weaker and then you can uh, do even more damage to them and they're setting up their own rhodian slingers to help support them um this is again a good well spotted here by carthage this is a very good spot mercenary scutari here are going to get some nice kills hopefully on these uh, on these Nabataean. but these are some pretty heavy uh, archers they can probably look after themselves against this small amount of cavalry left yeah, I mean, they just got absolutely minced at these cavalry. Oh my gosh. Um, but I mean, now Rome's just firing some slingers on them. And it looks like it's just turning into a bit of a skirmish off down here. Or it looks, it looks like both sides are kind of running out of infantry. Both sides kind of war worn each other out. I'd say the defenders probably have more. I mean, the balance of power is actually in favour of the attackers. I'm kind of just trying to see how that could be the case. I mean, possibly the infantry they have left. They have a pikeman unit of their own. But their swords are pretty beaten up. This is probably the most healthy one here. Rome's bringing just archers at this point. His general's dead. Um, I'm not quite sure when that... Oh, actually, no. That happened over here with the pikes at the gate. We did sort of see that. But, I mean, yeah. It look, as you can see, he's already taken... Uh, well, he's not taken, but he's forced these pikes back. They've broken. Wow. They broke. So, oh, I think Egypt's general might be dead. I can't really tell because, obviously, like, fog of war. And it just everything keeps dis disappearing. But I mean, I think um, Egypt's general might be dead, and like Egypt's got just stuff breaking all over the place currently. But I mean, this this could be interesting. I mean, again, the same thing, same policy here. If he's going to just stand in this choke point with his pikes, it's a hor it's obviously a very cheesy way of winning the battle. But if you want to win it, if you if you want to win the battle, you've got to use every tactic possible. But it looks like we're going to have a. a Let's pike off. We're going to have a pokey pokey. Let's see who's got the longer pike battle. I mean, I don't... What is this? What are Carthage doing? That was interesting. They really should have just marched up slowly and uh, gradually gone to position. Because they, they're out of position now. They're going to probably lose this, this battle. Oh, I do apologise. Um, they really would have been better just shooting them with archers. It would have definitely been better. They would have then forced them to go back. Look, they're winning decisively already. These poor African pikemen are just going to get murdered. I mean, I don't think Nabatea's got much left either. I mean, if I was the general... Yeah, he's pulling back his pikemen. It's probably the smart move. If I was um, Carthage then, I'd possibly send up these swords down the main street. Um, because it doesn't look like there's much infantry left. And then you just send your, your general to just mop up these last archers. And you probably won this battle. I don't think they, they can't have much uh, missile stuff left. Are they just going to look at each other now? I think they are. They're just looking at each other like... I dare you to come within reach of my pike. Yeah, they're just getting shot instead. And it's just, just over the heads of the, uh, of the African pikemen. That is, that is nasty. Yeah, poor man. Oh, yeah, this is, it's brutal. I would, if I was these guys, I would just like, be like, I'll put my pike down. I'm just going to, and I'm just going to take my shields and I'm just going to hope and pray that I survive. Because like right now, look at this. You're just a fish in the barrel. You're just getting murdered. That is sad to see. But it's it's how you're going to have to win it. The attacker's is going to have to win it this way. It's going to have to be a slow, tactical way of uh, of grinding out a victory here, it would seem. I mean, it looks like it's just coming down to a lot of archers. Yep. Yeah, I mean, 
Nabatea looks like he's got a grand battery of archers up here going with all these heavy archers. Um, I presume he brought four of these units because why wouldn't you? They seem to be very elite. I really need to try out more of the desert units uh, factions myself because I mean they seem to be pretty good like elite tier, st some pretty elite tier stuff. I mean they're down as very light missile infantry. They don't look very light. They look quite heavy. Gold, gold chainmail. I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty elite. Yep, it looks like he's broken the pikemen here, and now it's just a matter of time till they they win this. Unless Egypt's going to pull out like some cavalry or some more infantry, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty dire. And it also looks like um, oh, Rome's got his wheeled his ballista around here, and he's actually going to try and shoot. He's going to just like, well, if you're going to shoot stuff at range. Nabate, I'm going to do the same too. I think Nabate must have lost his general. I don't know when everyone's lost their generals because, like, I didn't see Nabate's uh, cavalry come out again. So unless he's charged down and done some stupid charge in the city here. Oh, that was a good hit. Again, and I, uh, that's broken. Everything's breaking. Wow, that was, yeah, that is insane. And that that looks like it's going to be the battle. It looks like everything's breaking. <laughs> the poor Eastern uh, ballista over there did nothing didn't even come from that direction. And there we go, guys. That is the battle. A costly victory. But it was a uh, a costly but very tactical way of winning it. So we'll quickly look at the uh, end battle results. Um, Gandalf here um, as Rome doing very, very well with his Evocati cohort. Most of them anyway did very well. Take Rome did take a huge brunt of the fire. I mean, but he's still getting a lot of kills, as you expect with Rome. With his infantry mostly getting over 100 kills each per unit. His Astarte doing actually very well. Uh, this unit certainly getting, getting nearly 200. And his uh, general, yeah, I presume just got mint somewhere. His archer's doing very well. And his, I mean, his ballista. I'm surprised he, he held on to the ammunition as long as he did. I would have just broke, made some choke points and made his life a lot easier. But he chose not to. Anyway, the King of Lemonade playing as Carthage, bringing uh, a lot of, well, Italian, a lot of mercenary units, a lot of uh, light and heavy swords. Um, and he brought his African pikemen, of course, and they did, well, this one did very well, end up dying anyway. Um, and his archers did actually quite well. His sling is getting over 200 kills. That is excellent, uh, like, kills for your money, to be honest. Um, so it's Solid Man with Nabatea did excellent. Um, as well, defended very well. Very unlucky, to be fair, were the defenders not to win this. Um, they set up very well and nullified Rome and Carthage for a very, very long time. Um, his armor desert hot plights getting 201 kills. Um, and then his Naote and Axe Warriors actually did very, very well as well, getting 130 odd kills. I mean, and his archers, of course, his grand battery of archers did excellent. Um, but I mean, nothing else really stood out. I mean, his cavalry did pretty, looked very elite, but didn't seem to really pay off. Um, and then Boom Shotter playing as Egypt getting, um, well, everything really across the board did actually very well. Egypt did have a pretty good game against Carthage um, most of the time. He's general getting over 100 kills. All of his missiles doing excellent, getting 100 plus kills. And his, uh, all his infantry getting, uh, just performing very well as well. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the battle and... Uh, want to see more Rome 2 siege battles then please leave a like and subscribe thank you very much for the sort the support recently uh hopefully my uh cold disappears soon so i can uh, actually get back to talking properly but uh if you enjoyed guys i will see you guys later and until then bye for now